Hi there. My name is John Holden. I graduated from the University of Connecticut in 1992 with a bachelor's degree in ornamental horticulture. In 1993, I started Land Designs Unlimited. I design, install, and maintain landscapes for homeowners in Upper Fairfield County, Connecticut. Today, I'd like to share my passion with you. How you doing today, folks? You know, it's late April and I'm out and I'm gonna do some pruning today. And, you know, I've got my thermals on. I, I stepped out of the house, it was 44 degrees. There's this cold wind blowing. And this has gotta be the coldest winter. I know it's the coldest winter we've ever had, but I just can't believe this winter will just not give up. You know, yesterday I was out, it was a nice day. It was like 65, I had a good sweat going. And today it's, it's gonna rain later, but I mean, it's just a crazy year. What I wanna do today, folks, is show you how to prune a Rose of Sharon, because I think a lot of people don't really know how to prune it. You know, it flowers, later summer and it's one of those shrubs that people you know you come around in the spring you look at your rose of share and you say ah it's fine but by the time you get to prune it later in the year you're actually going to end up pruning off some of the flowers whenever you're pruning a flowering shrub the first question you need to ask yourself or research is when does this flower what does this flower on does this flower on the current season's growth or does it flower on the previous season's growth does it flower on new wood or old wood now, Rose of Sharon actually flowers on new wood, which means it's okay to prune it in the early spring. The reason I want to prune this shrub is because it's just, by the time the summer comes, I come out to do some pruning of boxwood and such. So by June, July, this Rose of Sharon starts to flop over. And you know, if it's a rainy day, there's another one by the walkway here. If it's a rainy day, it flops over the walkway. And it's just, it's out of control for lack of a better term. So what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna go through and we're gonna prune out any dead wood we see, and then we're gonna go through and cut any branches that cross and rub against each other. We're gonna save either the healthier branch or we're gonna save the branch that um, is growing to the, the direction we want outside the shrub. We're gonna cut any branches that are growing into the shrub that are growing kind of in a bad direction and then finally what we want to do is just take it back a little bit and make it a little bit shorter. And by doing it now, before the growth comes on the plant, we're going to have this Rose of Sharon just ready to flush out. It's going to have room to grow. You know, the, the branches will be shorter so it's not going to be too heavy. And it's just going to be gorgeous. So right down here, we've got this branch that's coming off at this funky angle and then growing back up and it's kind of twining in with some other branches. So we're just going to go ahead and take our pruning saw and cut this one out. And then there's this one branch over here that somebody had cut a few years back that is just kind of growing out and it's going to have all this, this new branches growing on it and it's going to be over the lawn making a mess so we'll go ahead and cut this one out too if you follow this branch down it's it's choking these two branches here it's like there's this big squish going on so we're going to clear this one out it's in the middle of the shrub we're going to clear this one out so it doesn't congest the middle of the shrub I'm going to have to do this one in two cuts. And I'm going to sneak around to the back. Whatever you can do to get the best angle to prune so you don't end up cutting the wrong branch with your saw or nicking another branch, the better. Now over on this side, there's like a stub here that was cut off with the best of intentions but it's causing just a flush of a bunch of growth at the base of the shrub that's going to really congest things. So I'm going to, I'm going to prune this one out too. And this is definitely, it can get tricky to make your cuts on these. Over here, we've got a branch coming from inside the shrub. It's wrapping around and then it's heading up. And you can see there's a little bit of rubbing going on here. So we're going to take this one out. If 
we move in this direction, there's a, there's a stepping stone path. And this branch, I, half of me wants to leave it, but I'm afraid that as this branch grows up, it's kind of reaching for the sun. It's gonna keep heading towards that path. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off. Rose of Sharon is a very fast grower. So you kind of have to plan ahead. And then this one's kind of congested, so we'll get rid of that one too. A little congested over here. Got one in the back here. Just got a branch up my nose. I've got one in the back here that starts out okay, comes up, and then it kind of bows back towards the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and take this one off too. And these bigger branches I'll do in two cuts just so I can get the second cut right where I want it. You'll be amazed once you go through and prune out any crossing branches, any branches going back towards the center of the shrub, um, any dead branches, you know, most of your, your structural pruning is done and there's really not going to be a lot more to do on the inside of the shrub. I know I had some stubs in there that were, you know, pruned a few years ago. But once you do that, now you can more focus on the smaller branches and, you know, take a look around for, for smaller branches growing back into the middle of the shrub. Stuff that's growing in a direction we don't want. I mentioned that there's a path over here if there's something growing towards the path. So that's what we're going to do now. At this part of the plant, there's a whole bunch of suckers, but all these suckers are growing nice and upright. They're not spreading out from the shrub. I like the way they're growing. So I might thin out a couple of them and just favor the, the strongest, but I'm not gonna do much with any suckers that are growing straight up and looking nice. If I see some suckers coming out that are really leaning away from the shrub, I'm definitely gonna do something about that. I'm having a little bit of a hard time focusing. I've got a robin uh, chirping its head off over there, trying to get my attention. And when I walked up to the shrub, I, I saw it fly away. And the tree we're working at is right here. And her nest is right here. And she's got three eggs. She's got three eggs in there. So I'm gonna try to get this done as quick as I can so she can get back to her duties as a mom. And those eggs are okay. So here's a, some small branches growing towards the center. We're gonna go ahead and clip those out. Here's a sucker in the middle kind of growing towards the center. In the middle of the shrub here, we've got one of the, the probably one of the original stems when the shrub was planted. And it grows up and then it spreads out at the top. And by spreading out, it's blocking light to the rest of the shrub and it's taking a lot of the energy from the younger, the younger branches. So what I'm gonna do with this one is just go ahead and take it out and that way the energy can go to these other smaller shrubs and will also control the height of this Rose of Sharon. And I'm gonna do this in two cuts. I'm gonna cut it high, then I'll go down and cut it low because this is a pretty big branch. The shrub will develop the habit all by itself. All you need to do is cut out the, the weaknesses, for lack of a better term. And now the uh, neighbor's dog, which is a giant German Shepherd, is uh, saying hi to me over there too. I've got a stub right here. There's only about 18 inches. This is actually dead, dead. it died. So we'll take that off. Is I'm just gonna go up in the, in the shrub and see if I can tip the thing and get it to be maybe eight feet tall. Some of them, you know, I don't want to just cut the whole top of the shrub, but if I can cut them, cut a main branch down to a V that's going to be shorter, I'll do that. I've got the, the main stem and then I've got these two side branches. So we're just going to go ahead and cut the main stem and leave those side branches. And then up top, I will cut off this big thick part. So 
So folks, there is our end result. And I'm so happy I got out here early. You want to do this pruning when the shrub is dormant. It's just starting to break bud now. But you really want to get it early in the season. It's easier to see in there. And that's really the right time to do it. But um, I'm just so happy that the shrub now is opened up, it's pruned. When it has its flush of growth, this will easily put on two to three feet of growth over the summer. It's not gonna be weighted down. There's air, you know, air can move through the shrub, light can move through the shrub, and it's just gonna be a much healthier shrub. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can move real quick and get out of the way of the robin, and hopefully she can get back to her eggs. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, folks, and have a wonderful day.